Hello, YouTube. I hope you're doing well. Today we're on code.org. We're in Unit 7, Lesson 7, Part 2. It says this simple program should show a random cat and the name of the breed every time the user clicks the button. A library called Cats has been added to the program to help. It says to read the documentation for each of the functions in the Cats library. It says use the provided functions to finish building the app. And it says the user should see a new random cat and the name of the breed every time they click the button. The first thing it tells us to do is to look at the functions library. So let's click on settings. We're going to go to manage libraries. We'll select cats. And we see a few functions. Specifically, there's four of them within this library. We're only going to end up using two of these four functions. The first one is going to be the random breed. We can see that it returns the name of a random breed of cat and that return is string and it's going to be the name of a random cat breed. So if I look here at the function, we see a variable being created called breeds. It's going to be looking to a table called cats and it's going to pull from the column named name. It's then going to return a random cat from index zero all the way to the end of the list. And we can see that it runs all the way to the end because it looks at the length and then we see minus one. The other function that we're going to use is this one right here called breed image. It says returns the image of a given cat breed. It then tells us that the search breed is a string and it's going to be the name of the breed to search for. It's then going to return a string. It's going to be the URL of the cat searched. If that cat isn't found, it's going to return not found. Within this function, we see that there's two variables being created. There's one for breeds and one for image. And it's going to get that information from the same table that random breed is pulling from. We see a for loop within this function. We see var i equals zero. It's going to run through the entire breeds list. It's going to do that by adding one to the counter each time it runs through until it's gone through every single indexed entry. Within this for loop, it's looking to see is the breed at that index equal to what was searched. And then if it is, it's going to return back that image at that specific index. While we are not using these other functions, you should still look at this, read through the code and make sure you understand what is going on in these functions. Let's go in and look at that table that was referenced. So we're on the data tab. We're going to click on cats. And while there's a lot of information here, the only two columns we're going to be interested in is this first one called name and this one for image. The code for this is not going to be too difficult. We're going to go ahead and create a variable. The variable here we'll call cat. And we're going to use one of those functions specifically the cat's random breed. We're going to drag that in and that function is going to pull a random cat from that list. Now what we need to do is set text and the image to the app screen based upon the selection here. We're going to go to UI controls. We're going to do two of these set property. The first one is going to be for breed name and that's going to be our ID. We're going to select text and we want to put the variable at the end, cat. The other one that we want to set is cat image. This is going to be an image. And we're going to put here the other function that we saw in the functions library. Cats.breedImage. We're going to drag that over. And what are we going to search for? Well, we're going to search for cat, which was the variable that we created up here. So just to quickly review what we've done, we've created a variable here. We're going to use the random breed function to populate a random cat from the list. Then we're going to use the set property feature to set the text for that random cat. And we're going to pull the image for that random cat. Let's go in and run the app. We got to click show me another for the cat to load. And we can see lots of adorable looking cats. As we continue looking at libraries, we should begin to feel a little bit more comfortable each time we use them. Once you feel comfortable with this project, make sure you click finish.